Hey, hey everybody. Well, if a man's got campers, a man's got problems. But I'm a problem solver. Well, I'm back today with a video on oh, trying to kill two birds with one stone. I've got two more upgrades I'm needing badly for this little camper. One is a place to mount spare fuel. Two, I need some sort of roof rack so I can uh, obviously get some stuff strapped on up there and get it out of my way. But as you can see, there's not a whole lot of room for a roof rack because of that uh, that fan vent cranked straight up. So I'm looking at only having about 24 inches of space to do something there. But I've got an idea. Uh, in fact, I've got more than I an idea. I've got a solution. So y'all stay tuned. Show you what it is. So I found this cargo basket on Amazon, and I'm loving it. It's the right dimensions. It's aluminum, so I'm not dealing with like steel rusting, paint, anything like that. Um, I also noticed that the receiver part of it, you know, it comes as a basket, and then you have to bolt the receiver part to it. So I thought, hey, I'll just use it as a basket. And uh, yeah, I'm loving this thing. It's working out good. So I got the basket assembled, took about 20 minutes just putting in a bunch of little bolts and nuts. Came together good, it is good and strong, and I thought, hey, that looks like the perfect place to mount my Rotopax. So I uh, cut me some 2x6, ran some carriage bolts, drilled some holes. That's locked down tight. Yeah. Got my Rotopax can on there. That thing is sound as a pound, fitting like a snug as a bug in a rug. So now uh, I got the rack up on the camper. Drill me four holes in that crossbar on the front and the back. And that's what she's looking like. She's bolted down and ready to roll. Lightweight, yeah, buddy. That roof rack says, uh, Sunray says that roof rack will hold 500 pounds. I wouldn't put 500 pounds on there if you was to pay me. But I will put four and a half gallons of fuel. What's that, about seven pounds a gallon, so 30 pounds. And that rack doesn't weigh 10 pounds, so we got 40 pounds on that rack. And I've got room up there uh, to put my chainsaw. And so, yeah, man, I'm tickled to death with this. I'm actually liking this thing so well. I think I'm going to buy me another one. There's room for another one on this other side that's going to double my cargo capacity up there. And it's going to make it look more symmetrical. I'll be able to add one more roto packs so I can double my fuel capacity and that'll have me right where I want to be. And one of the best parts about it too is all that weight from the fuel is behind the axle. So that helps to kind of counterweight some more of the tongue weight. So that works out good. Well, all right, y'all, thanks for tuning in. I hope this, uh, provides a, a, a helpful solution to somebody who's got one of these and looking to do something on that roof. Um, it's worked out great. Um, I have not obviously been able to test it yet, but I feel sure it is sound. All right, y'all. Oh, and if you enjoy these Sunray videos, check out my Overland Adventure series. You can see my little camper in action. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank y'all. See you on the next one, the England Army, over and out.